Have you ever paused to consider the absence of doors on the hangar bays of U.S. aircraft carriers? This design quirk is no accident. It's a deliberate feature with fascinating implications. Join us as we delve into the secrets that make these naval giants truly unique. U.S. aircraft carriers are marvels of modern naval engineering, designed to project power across the globe. One interesting aspect of their design is the absence of doors in the hangar bay. This might seem like a vulnerability, but it's actually a strategic choice. Without doors, aircraft can be moved more quickly in and out of the hangar, facilitating rapid deployment. The open design also allows for natural ventilation, which helps disperse fuel vapors and reduces the risk of fire, a constant concern on ships. The hangar bay itself is a massive space, capable of housing dozens of aircraft along with maintenance and storage areas. It's the heart of the carrier, where the aircraft are maintained and prepared for missions. Despite the lack of doors, the hangar bay is well protected by the carrier's design and the vigilant crew who operate it. The carriers are equipped with advanced systems to combat threats, from sea-skimming missiles to torpedoes, ensuring the safety of the aircraft within. In essence, the design of U.S. aircraft carriers reflects a balance between protection and functionality, showcasing the innovative spirit of naval architecture. The absence of hangar bay doors is a testament to the strategic priorities of efficiency, speed, and adaptability in naval operations. U.S. aircraft carriers stand as marvels of naval engineering, boasting unique design elements that set them apart from other warships. Foremost among these characteristics is their sheer size and displacement, with vessels like the Nimitz-class and Ford-class ranking among the largest ever constructed. This immense scale affords them a formidable advantage, enabling a high aircraft capacity that transforms them into potent floating air bases. Central to their design is the flight deck, a sprawling expanse meticulously crafted for the launch and recovery of aircraft. Equipped with catapults and arresting wires, it serves as the nerve center of carrier operations. Notably, U.S. supercarriers diverge from conventional naval propulsion by harnessing nuclear reactors, endowing them with unparalleled endurance exceeding 20 years without refueling. Further enhancing their capabilities is the advanced dual-band radar system integrated into Ford-class carriers, which bolsters detection capabilities while reducing radar cross-section. Revolutionary technologies such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System emails, replace antiquated steam catapults, affording greater control during aircraft launch and elevating sortie rates. Complementing this innovation is the state-of-the-art Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, streamlining aircraft recovery with heightened effectiveness and reduced maintenance demands. Additionally, the redesign of the island superstructure on Ford-class carriers enhances visibility and flight deck space compared to their Nimitz-class predecessors. Collectively, these features position U.S. aircraft carriers as pivotal instruments of naval power projection, capable of delivering air superiority across the globe without reliance on local basing rights. Their design continues to evolve in tandem with technological advancements ensuring they remain at the vanguard of naval warfare capabilities. The design of U.S. aircraft carriers incorporates unique considerations aimed at optimizing efficiency and functionality, with one notable feature being the absence of traditional hangar bay doors. This design choice is underpinned by several factors that contribute to both benefits and drawbacks. Firstly, the lack of doors enables rapid deployment of aircraft, facilitating quicker response times during operations. Additionally, in the event of a fire, improved ventilation and accessibility aid firefighting efforts, enhancing fire safety measures. 
Moreover, the open hangar bays provide ample space and accessibility for aircraft maintenance and repair, crucial for ensuring operational readiness. However, this design also exposes the hangar bay to environmental elements, potentially affecting stored equipment and aircraft. Furthermore, the absence of doors raises concerns regarding security, as it may increase vulnerability to unauthorized access or enemy action, despite the implementation of robust security measures on U.S. carriers. Overall, the design of U.S. aircraft carriers represents a strategic balance between operational efficiency and addressing challenges related to environmental exposure and security. The decision to forego traditional hangar doors underscores the carrier's emphasis on rapid deployment and effective maintenance, which are essential for their role as a cornerstone of U.S. naval power projection. When comparing the design of U.S. aircraft carriers with those from other countries and other types of naval vessels, several key differences stand out. In terms of U.S. carriers versus those from other countries, the distinctions are evident in size, propulsion, air wing capacity, and technological advancements. U.S. supercarriers like the Gerald R. Ford class are among the largest globally, boasting a full load displacement of about 100,000 tons. Moreover, U.S. carriers are nuclear-powered, offering greater endurance and range compared to conventional carriers of other nations. Additionally, U.S. carriers can accommodate a larger number of aircraft, typically 60 or more, and often lead in technological innovations such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMAILS, and Advanced Arresting Gear, AAG. Comparing U.S. carriers to other naval vessels reveals further contrasts. Aircraft carriers serve as mobile airbases with capabilities for power projection, unlike other naval vessels specializing in surface combat, anti-submarine warfare, or amphibious operations. Carriers are significantly larger than most other naval vessels, allowing for the operation of a wide variety of aircraft. Furthermore, the crew size on an aircraft carrier is much larger to support air operations, maintenance, and other functions necessary for the air wing. In summary, U.S. aircraft carriers are designed for power projection and sustained operations at sea, with a focus on air superiority. They are larger, more technologically advanced, and have greater operational capabilities compared to aircraft carriers from other countries and other types of naval vessels. The design of U.S. aircraft carriers without doors in the hangar bay is a strategic decision that enhances operational efficiency this design allows for rapid deployment and servicing of aircraft, better fire safety, and easier access for maintenance. While it may expose the hangar to environmental elements and potential security risks, these are mitigated by other measures. Understanding this design choice is beneficial for military strategists, naval architects, and defense analysts who can appreciate the trade-offs between rapid response capabilities and protection measures in naval engineering. It underscores the U.S. Navy's priority on readiness and power projection in their carrier fleet. If you found the insights on U.S. aircraft carriers intriguing, don't forget to like this video and comment below with your thoughts. Share it with friends who are keen on military technology. And for more fascinating content, be sure to check out our related video on naval architecture. It's a deep dive into the engineering marvels that sail our seas. Subscribe for more updates and hit the bell icon to stay notified. Let's keep the conversation going and the knowledge flowing.